Shortcuts is a new app from Apple that will make it easy to complete common tasks, including by using your voice. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider and Shortcuts has just been released as a developer beta through TestFlight. Upon opening the app for the first time, a welcome screen guides you through the basic principles of Shortcuts, including how to combine multiple steps into a nice little workflow, how to access them through widgets and from your home screen, and of course, how to set it up through Siri. We saw a sneak peek of Shortcuts during Apple's developer conference, but it should come as no surprise that once the app has finally launched here, there is a striking resemblance between Shortcuts and Workflow. It's clearly based around Workflow, which is an automation app that Apple acquired not too long ago. The Workflow team has clearly been hard at work, and a lot of the interface is borrowed from that app. In fact, once you launch it, it actually imports all of your settings from Workflow. The assumption is that once Shortcuts finally launches, it'll replace the Workflow app on the App Store. Navigating the app is easy. There are simply two tabs, your library as well as the gallery. Gallery is a great place to find new and exciting workflows that you can add to Shortcuts. Over time, more and more can show up here, and they break them down into different categories, like ones that are great for the iPhone X, sharing shortcuts featured ones, exploring Apple Music, and using third-party applications. Once you find one that you like, maybe playing a playlist, you can tap on it, view the actions that it includes, and then just add it to your library. You can then use it as is, add it to Siri, or customize it to your liking. One thing that's a little bit buried is how to add these to Siri. It seems kind of odd that that's not front and foremost when you're actually looking at shortcuts because that's one of the best features. But you actually have to add it to your library first, then go into the settings on it, then tap on the little sliders in the top right hand corner before you can finally add to Siri. You can then create any custom phrase that you'd like that you can use when invoking Siri. So in this case, maybe I just want to say brush teeth timer. Now, whenever I ask Siri to start my brush teeth timer, she'll be able to do just like that. So let's go ahead and try it out. We're gonna hold our side button, invoke Siri, say our custom phrase, and right there, it's gonna run that shortcut, launch the shortcuts app, and telling me, get to brush your teeth, and starts going the timer. In this case, we're actually going to cancel it and now wait around for all those other actions to complete. Aside from using the gallery, you can completely create your own shortcuts, and it's pretty easy to do. Once you launch the Create Your Own Shortcut Wizard, there's a ton of different actions that you can add to your shortcut. But instead of having to use those, if you tap on the search bar, you're giving your favorites, series suggestions, get really complex with scripting, these different content types, and below all access to applications that currently support shortcuts. Over time, third-party developer ones can also show up here. Let's go ahead and just add something to our shortcut for now, such as maybe adding a new event. We're gonna tap that, and it shows up right here in our little shortcut wizard. Tapping those sliders, you have a few other options instead of just creating your own Siri stuff. You can customize the icon, customize the name, re-record or just set your Siri phrase, show in the share sheet, show in the widget, add to your home screen, or share the shortcut in general. There's a lot of really neat stuff that you can do using the Shortcuts app. There's really a ton in there and it's only going to expand as developers really start to dive into it. And you can get really complex with some of the stuff that you can do. Siri also frequently suggests different things that you can do through Siri Shortcuts. Jumping into the Settings app itself, you can actually view a lot of these suggestions and create them without having to use the Shortcuts app at all. Right now in the beta, there's a lot of things that are limited. There's just things that aren't added to the app yet. For instance, there's no access to any of the HomeKit functionality that will soon be there. More and more of these missing features will be added to Shortcuts during the beta period before it launches, assumedly this fall, alongside iOS 12. While for the most part it seems pretty easy, shortcuts can get really complicated really fast, and they could go over a lot of people's heads. That's why it's really important for Apple to push that gallery and continuously update it with new and exciting shortcuts. The vast majority of people are simply going to want to look at the gallery, find one that they like, tap on it, and add it to their library. During Apple's developer conference keynote, they showed a lot of really exciting options that we'll soon be able to do using Siri shortcuts. One of my favorite ones that they demoed was the heading home idea. The idea that you can run a whole bunch of commands just when you're about to head home. While you can't completely replicate that just yet because things like HomeKit are not currently added into the actual Shortcuts app, there's a lot you can do. I created a basic outline of one here where it'll take some basic text, which would assumedly be your address, show you the directions to get home, go ahead and send a text to a loved one saying you're on your way, start playing your music, 
get the travel time from your current location, and then give you a summary of what happened. So saying, okay, we got your directions home, you'll get there in about 25 minutes. I've gone ahead and texted your girlfriend and set the thermostat to 71 degrees and turned on the dehumidifier. All that can be done with the simple Siri command of heading home. If you want to see the actual Siri shortcuts that have been added using your voice, you can jump into the settings app and go to Siri and search. There, all the ones you've already added will show up, making it easy to manage and remove them if you no longer need them. So I am super excited to hear what you guys think of Siri shortcuts. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to catch on? And what ideas do you have for shortcuts that you want to use when the app finally launches this fall alongside iOS 12? If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.